What's going on guys? You may have heard people say this before where uh, something happens, they say it happened too close to home. Today that's what I'm talking about because something did happen that was too close to home. So we're going to get in the car and we're going to kind of show you what I specifically mean about too close to home. I have a camera set up so we're going to show you. So yesterday, if you guys are uh, privy to watching the news or current events, you will know that there was a school shooting that happened, and that happened in the town of Dixon, Illinois. And if you guys have ever been in one of my live streams or, you know, looked me up on LinkedIn or anything like that, you'll see that's where I live. I live in Dixon, Illinois, and I'm a couple blocks from the high school where this happened. So we're actually going to talk about this a little bit today because... It happened uh, too close to home in more ways than one. So we're going to switch over to this, uh, this different, um, we're going to switch over to the other camera here and I'm going to do some talking and uh, we'll, we'll stop and we'll, we'll have more of a discussion. So switching. So we just pulled away from my house and this video, and hopefully it's not too shaky. Hopefully I can stabilize this. This will kind of show you how close this happened to me specifically. Um, it's not that far of a drive. I mean, literally we turn a block there, we come to the stop sign and as soon as we come to the stop sign right here, right to the left, you know, um, you can actually, you can see the armory where that's where all the kids went to and it's right over there. So we'll give you that kind of view over there. Hopefully you can see that. We're gonna, I'm gonna make a turn here. And we're gonna turn here because here's the armory. And the high school and the football field are right uh, to the left, actually. So it's a little bit of a bumpy road. So here's the football field. And I spend many of my Friday nights in the summer here at this football field. And this area right here uh, was all blocked off yesterday because the incident happened actually right, right over here somewhere. Uh, where... I know you guys have heard uh, the kid ran out. So you, we got the news trucks and everything over here. Um, kid actually ran out of the gymnasium, which right now that's where the camera is pointed at. The camera's pointed right at the gym. And here's obviously the football field. So he ran out of that gymnasium and either the doors that are um, like outside of this fenced area or these doors over here into this fenced area but i'm assuming it happened over here outside of the fenced area but anyway uh this is too close to home obviously and if you hear people say that you don't quite understand it however you know i potentially could have heard the gunshots happening but i didn't i didn't i didn't hear those so let me let me give you a little bit of a, some detail onto this because Mark Dallas, the officer involved in the shooting, is a hero. That gentleman is pure 100% hero. And to go either, even further into it, Mark Dallas is a friend of mine. I've hung out with him. I've spent many, many Friday nights with him in the last couple of years on the sidelines because he uh, helped coach, his son was on the football team, and I've walked up and down the sidelines with him many, many times. And again, been to his house. This guy is the most pure, you know, 
um, genuine hearted person I think I've ever met. And to be a police officer at that gives you a whole new perspective on how police officers are. You know, since hanging out with Mark and meeting Mark and being with him, and I'm not just saying this because of what happened, not at all, this has nothing to do with what happened, but to give you guys a background on this guy, pure gold. I mean, this guy, he would give you the shirt off of his back if you needed it. And I've worked with this high school for the last couple of years. I've done many projects with them. And he's all, he's there. You know, he's a resource officer, so he's always there. He's always there interacting with the kids, helping the kids out, you know, when they need help. You know, I've seen many times where a student has pulled him away just to talk to him about, you know, whatever that, that uh, like, situation could be. And Mark is al always there to listen and always there to help, you know. It's amazing um, to see everything that's happening now. It's just, it blows me away because out of everybody that I've known who's a police officer and interacted with, this guy's the most genuine, the most caring. And what he did yesterday just goes to show you what a police officer has to go through essentially what a real police officer goes through. You know, when something happens, he jumped to action. He ran after this kid with a gun. And uh, that just blows me away. It absolutely blows me away. I have the utmost respect for Mark. I've had the most respect for Mark prior to this because you are always able to talk to him. You're always able to, to, to just have a conversation with him. And he always, you know, is there anything I could do for you? You know, that type of person. And to do what he did, it blew me away. Now, my first thought when I heard of what happened, you know, and obviously in this small town, something like to this magnitude, when it happens, everybody knows about it right away. There's 16,000 people in this town. That's not a lot of people. So when something happens, it's it's everywhere. It's wildfire. I came down here right away, right up at the, the top of that hill, right where we turned. That's where I was standing, you know, right after all of this happened. And I'm just watching, you know, I was watching kids um, being taken over to this armory over here because um, they, they had the whole school on lockdown. And if you weren't in a classroom, you were going over to the armory. I watched that happen. And it just, it was amazing to me, you know. Um, and there's lots of stories that are kind of come out about this, you know, and I've heard from a couple of students on how they barricaded the doors, you know, they did everything that they were supposed to do, which is, it was just fantastic. You couldn't ask for a better, a better scenario. But what Mark did, it blows me away, you know, and I'm going to keep saying that, but the first thing I thought of when I, when I heard there was gunshots and, uh, the resource officer, you know, Mark Dallas was involved. My thoughts went to him. My thoughts initially went to him. Nobody else, nothing else, because, you know, at the time I heard there was, there was no fatalities, which was fantastic. You know, that's, that's, you always want to hear that. But no matter what, you know, Mark had to fire his gun. You know, he had to fire his gun. There's a lot of times as a police officer that you probably have to make that decision, right? And it's scary, you know? I can only imagine how scary that is. I can only imagine the thoughts, feelings, and everything running through Mark's head. And that's what I was initially, like, worried about, you know? Any officer who has to pull their weapon and actually discharge their weapon, um, that's a hard thing to do, you know? That's not something that you, you know, most good officers, you know, that's not something that they do. That's not something that they want to think about. That's one thing that they never want to do. I don't think they ever want to do that. If you're a good police officer, a good, genuine police officer, I don't think you want to do that. But for Mark to chase after this kid and discharge his weapon, stop him from something that could have been really bad, you know? And that's that's what I think a lot of people are are around here especially are are extremely thankful for. He stopped something much larger from happening. Nobody got hurt. Nobody, you know, was killed. He 
he's a hero and that's the best thing that you know can happen from the situation and I'm beyond words on how truly amazing and wonderful um, the situation is what happened as far as far as the way that it went down it's just it's amazing to me so uh, thank you Mark Dallas I mean you're a hero man and I know knowing Mark he would never say I'm a hero he would never say anything if I had to guess what Mark would say he would say I'm just doing my job I'm just doing my job you know that's the type of per- person that Mark is he doesn't want this type of attention I, I, I know this I know Mark you know I did the photography and videography for the football team anytime I would take a picture of Mark he would get so mad he would get so mad about it but it's like you know it's a joking thing but he really didn't want his picture taken he didn't want to be you know necessarily noticed he didn't want that so for all of this to be happening and I know people are just dying to talk to Mark you know they they were parked out news vans and everything were parked outside of this guy's house last night and it, you know that's not what he wants I know everybody wants the story and everybody wants wants to hear from Mark um, and I'm not trying to speak for him and I'm not trying to, to do that I'm not trying to make a anything out of proportion here or whatever but that's not what Mark wants he will tell you just doing my job that's 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 just Mark but I we appreciate what Mark did and you know that that saying is true there comes to, to to light here it happened too close to home but we're thankful and glad that it turned out the way that it did so we'll kind of show you over here you know again here's the high school we'll go by it real quick because it's it's actually under construction right now there's no school today they canceled school so uh we'll do a quick quick drive by now you can see see more of the high school i actually just did a drone video of this high school we'll kind of put that in here you see all these all these news cameras and everything look at it. it's just it's amazing everybody's obviously up in arms about this and there's going to be lots of debates and lots of things happening and i i'm so glad that i'm getting all of this on on camera right now going by and doing this there's a reporter right there just kind of show you guys what's uh going on here construction NBC we got WGN news here CBS we got Univision on the left of me we got more NBC news ABC 7 news it's uh it's quite amazing, wow. <laughs> all this, all this stuff that's happening here today, and yesterday, of course. The point of this video, guys, is uh, is a good point. It's it's something that everybody should know, should realize, should understand. Don't take life for granted. You know, don't take anything for granted. Uh, anything could happen in a blink of an eye, and. If you are from a small town, from a large town, it clearly does not matter. Uh, things like this can happen anywhere. They can happen anytime, and you don't know. So, you know, if you have parents, hug your parents. Tell them that you love them. If you have a significant other, kids, hug them. Tell them that you love them. You know, never take every day as it's it, that it's always going to be there. Now, obviously, nobody lost their lives here, but they could have. But Mark Dallas, the hero, <laughs> through and through. So, obviously, this is a, a, a video that is completely different from what you would normally see here. But we had to do it. We had to, we had to put it out there. We had to let you guys know that. Don't take it. Don't take life for granted. 
Because any, anything could happen. Um, th this whole thing is is crazy to me. I wasn't even involved. I was a couple blocks away. I feel for the students, especially the seniors, because this happened during their senior practice. Um, I'm sorry. I Nobody wants to have to go through that, and I'm sure there's going to be many, many graduating seniors who just won't go to graduation because of this. It's traumatizing. I could only, only imagine. Uh, the, the senior class, um, I got very close to a lot of them, especially the, you know, the football players in the last couple of years. And, you know, I know the type of kids a lot of these, a lot of these kids are. They're great kids. Uh, I don't know how many times, you know, me being an adult now, uh, seeing them somewhere and they would come up to me and say hi and how are you doing and, and all that because, you know, fat finger. That's, that's what they all call me. Hey, fat finger. Great kids. And they don't, nobody deserves to have to go through this. Um, so that's all I got for you guys today. It's a little bit of a, here's super behind the scenes. Here's super real life coming at you. So that's it. You guys uh, have a great day. Hug your, hug the people you love. It's important. Take it easy.